Vixen, you got your ears on? Come back. Vixen, you got your ears on? Come back. This is Patriot. Come back. Figures you ain't gonna answer me, Vixen. Word on the street is you're dead. What I can't figure out is then how come you've been driving round? I saw you at the wagon wheel. Not bad work, Vixen. Now, if you ain't dead, then I figure it's about time we settled up, you and me. Don't you think? Meet me at Dick Burnetti's Super Track in Andrews and bring just yourself. Vixen? This guy's looking for Jade. Hey, yo, Skeeter. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go take care of some business. Greetings gamers and welcome to Let's Play Interstate 76. This mission man, this mission. Already at the start there, you noticed the glitch. Uh, basically there was a slight problem with some wobbly wheels there. And I uh, appeared on the right side of the track. I was supposed to be, well on the right, on the left side, honestly. <laughs> but never mind that now. Um, this mission basically it's a two part mission first part you have to beat these clowns in a race it's like uh, as the man said four laps around the track and uh, when you win he basically says you're not taking my car and decides to fisticuffs if you kill him before the before that time like during the race before you beat him in a race the game calls you a coward and makes you replay the level although he has no qualms of killing you during the race no 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 guns 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 how Three laps to go. Yes. <laughs> and as you heard there, if you use your own guns, he complains about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just you can't win with these people. Anyway, um, it's pure irony, really, because on the um, test, um, I say test record, test playthrough I did um, to try and mix around uh, the levels for the wobbly wheels, I uh, made it through this level. Uh, first time through, no problems, uh, no cheating or anything, just straightforward racing, beat him, then the fight, I beat him that way, no problem. Um, due, as you can see from the video length, it was another story when I started to record. Um, essentially, between glitches and the game crashing five times, I've had to redo this level a lot. Uh, during Only two laps during this first playthrough here, um, uh, essentially, I think I beat him. I could be wrong though. I totally forget it, but I remember there's one one time I beat him. Another time I beat him, but then the game crashed. Uh, then, um, like, the, the game decided to give them the win, even though I was ahead of them. And just loads of bullshit, really. Uh, you'll see it all in detail as we go along. But this map, I... Replaying this map, I now realize why I had trouble with it uh, when I was playing it when I was younger. 
essentially if you do not decelerate like physically hold the uh, slow down button for the corners you're going off and every second you're off the track like this uh, they just speed along and they yeah they get ahead of you way too far and you lose a lot of time that way and I think yeah this is the playthrough the first one um, I had to get past that guy to win and right there that was the mistake you just saw that cost me this uh, cost me the the race essentially because I just couldn't make up the time afterwards and see I'm coming up here you could barely see them out of the corner of my eye and there he is ahead of me Damn. I lose so we restart I immediately skipped the cutscene this time to spawn in the correct location but this is to my disadvantage because they all immediately buttfuck me I managed to push away that uh, yellow um, uh, station wagon I suppose and uh, what I love there is that um, essentially that uh, orange car you see ahead of you he actually oil slicked Patriot or cement blocked or whatever his rear weapon is but he used his rear weapon and essentially he um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop saying essentially because I almost got people killed with the drinking game and uh, basically he um, as you saw he made him slow down to a stop and the barking you just heard was his death scream because what just happened there was I have no idea how it was like the station wagon and him were side by side they were Three laps to go. they were doing something and he died the, the Patriot dude died so apparently it's not good when I kill him during the race but when he, he dies by himself it's all good so this is the mission I remember um, I won but it, the, the game crashed and to be honest I was okay with that the reason I was okay with that is because I I won through nefarious means as I like to call it because you know I didn't win the you know the guy basically committed suicide I didn't beat him he he died it was there was no honor in that <laughs> even though you know I tried to shoot him out of frustration the next playthrough um, only two laps left yeah but this mission this mission is a like I said last video, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest. Purely because in a straight up race, if you do not know the track well, like here, you have to turn immediately right when you get up there. If you don't, you're going off. If you mess around with the speeds, you're going off. Sometimes I hit things in the track and my guy would just do a, a, a 180 spin, which for a race, as you can imagine, is not ideal. Um, if you're playing along at home, the only advice I can give you is uh, when you're going around those corners, uh, except for a select few, honestly, but at least this first one here, always decelerate and turn. And then you'll just barely, you'll keep the speed but barely stay in the track. Because if you go off track, that's when you lose your speed. You really need to stay on the road. Um, the second advice I can give you is when you hit like uh, oil slicks, is uh, just go forward do not attempt to turn do not attempt any movement when you hit an oil slick the only movement you can do safely is go forward uh, and basic uh, what I would do is uh, once you stopped hearing the oil slick sound count two seconds three seconds yes. see I won the race but normally Patriot comes in with a spiel saying you're not gonna take my car as you all <laughs> and uh, he d wasn't there to say it so I just kill his buddies and figure what the hell at least each playthrough was unique right um, so yeah uh, what I would do is when you get into a noise slick count two seconds after you finish hearing the oil slicks down and then you're basically then you're safe to turn generally yeah, I'm trying to shoot him with my rockets. This sucks. And this guy with his cinder blocks, man. I hated this guy. His buddy's car protected him from rockets. 
Oh, another useful trick is when you get when you actually when you do get like hit from behind, tail ended or re ended rather, or and uh, when you do make the mistake and actually try to turn in oil slick, um, always turn with the spin. If you do that, generally, generally, not always, but generally, you'll wind up uh, in the same direction you were facing before. May you won't have gone forward, but at least you will be facing the right direction. And this part, I just loved it, because he just stopped at one point. I don't know if it was like the wheel wobbly wheel bug or something, but he just stopped. So I just <laughs> unloaded one of my 45 caliber handgun. I told, you know, for the win. And he was almost dead, so a couple more rockets. Turning off the graphical glitches there. I realize I'm out of rockets. So I finish him off with my handgun, if I remember right. A rather nice shot, if I do say so myself. Coming up now. Which makes sense. <laughs> and when it tried to go to the cutscene, it crashed, leaving me no choice but to restart. <laughs> so I think this is the playthrough where I just straight off fired rockets, and it was, I, I played it offensively. And what I discovered is, it, do not try to play this map offensively. Do not try to shoot at any time, except once the the shooting actually starts for real. If you try and like fire rockets, you're not going to hit them. Generally, uh, you can try and firing your machine gun, but it won't help really. And I, what I noticed, it might just be me or like uh, the program I use to fix the wobbly wheel bug or something. But um, whenever I fired my weapons my turning angle would suffer greatly basically i couldn't turn as much as um as much as uh, if i wasn't firing so you can imagine with rocket is fine because you're like you're shooting two off and then you know you're you're, you're at the wheel again but with the machine gun my god you, you can't turn it's almost physical. like these, this first turn here is physically impossible if you're holding down the fire machine gun bu uh, button. Purely impossible. So, you know, take my advice, forget the shooting in the first half, focus solely on driving. Because, uh, yeah, with this course, generally, it's, it's, uh, it's hard enough. And I was lucky enough to, you know, have them sometimes you know uh, glitch out have some friendly fire going on with the like the oil slick and stuff but um yeah i remember this being a lot harder in the uh, original game so i think the frame rate uh thing has uh, actually worked in my favor this time yeah, I got two more laps left. I'm getting hit by everything under the sun. But the Patriot is so far. He's the like a grey dot on the on the left. You see the blue dot. He's miles ahead of me. There's no way in hell I'm catching up to him at this stage. And as you'll see, I was nowhere near the finish line like the other time when he when he won. The, what I found interesting though is he does actually have a different um, victory speech every time he wins because obviously the developers knew that the players would have to play this map quite a few times before they uh, understood that they weren't supposed to be using guns <laughs> for this mission I don't know just uh, I found it amusing come up for the last lap as you can see like he's at the other half of the course by now chances of me go getting past him is basically slim to none unless he did a slide out and stuff and I I think I uh, actually ran into this guy causing me to spin as well 
and left side. Now I think he's slammed behind me here. Or oh, no, he got in front. That's right. And here I basically have cut the course. So even if I get to the finish line, it doesn't count as me having done the lap. That's the thing. If you don't do the lap on the tracks. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Hell yeah. I'm best around. It's me letting off some steam. And so we play again. The game having crashed. No joke. I hit replay and the game crashed. So this time... <laughs> uh, I think I... Let me think here. Was this the... I, I lost again. I think this is the second loss I did. Wait, this guy, I don't know what happened to the uh, the orange guy that time. Really weird. And here, I kept hoping that he would get hit by something, but <laughs> was not to be. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I remember, this is the bit where I, uh, at one point, got hit from behind. And that caused me to spin off the track. And by the time I got back onto the track and then did my lap, I noticed that it didn't count the lap. Because for some reason, if you don't do like a certain part of the track on the on the actual track, if you like did a, a quote unquote shortcut or like cut a, a corner a bit too much, it doesn't count you as having done the corner. If you haven't done the corner, you haven't done the lap. Three laps to so go. when that happened, I think this is this is the lap where it happened actually. And uh, when that happens, you're basically, uh, you know, you're one lap behind. Because it can't, it does it for you, but it doesn't do it for the AI. So, <laughs> immediately the AI has a lap on you. And when they have a lap on you, it's impossible to catch up. It's just impossible. You can't do it. Yeah, he's coming up. I, boom, I spin, going off. I'm way behind. There, you see, I didn't go with the spin. I went around like this. See, I, I basically, for me, I went straight back onto the track. But apparently, I, I cut the corner from before by doing that. And as you'll see when I get to the finish line, it doesn't count me as having, uh, having done a lap. See? No, no message. So now I'm like, oh, oh fuck. So <laughs> I'm speeding up behind this guy. Thinking, come on, I can still do this. I can still pull this off. Yeah, now trying to keep it hopeful. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know if the AI thing, if it counts for the AI or not. Something I all have to do is beat the station wagon and I'm through. So, you know, I, I oil slick him. It's all good. And I think coming up I hit something or was that afterwards? Yeah, it must be afterwards. Oh, maybe I didn't record that one, I don't know. Anyway, the game gets slow here, so uh, Only two laps left. I decide to stop for apps and restart it. And there, yeah, there I spin out. I have no idea why, if I'm being honest. Noticing the dot approaching, I lay down some oil behind me. Right. Now, um, as for equipment, uh, I basically, uh, the only equipment change I did from uh, the missions I did beforehand was I replaced the um, brakes with uh, some better ones and instead of having a machine gun in the back I put those fire rockets in the back just you know for the hell of it um, in the next mission because uh, I know what I've equipped already oh the only change that I've done is I've replaced the 30 caliber machine gun with a 50 caliber machine gun I've also replaced the fire rockets in the back with a 50 caliber machine gun also in terms of the car I've uh, changed my 13 inch wheels for 14 inch rally wheels 
which, come to think of it, would have been useful doing this mission, but it was not to be. And, uh, top of my head, I think that's everything. I have become victorious, and this pleases me tremendously. Damn. See, he had a lap on me, so there was no way I could win. And so, now we start. I immediately go oil slick to try and get this guy behind me. But I immediately run into a cinder block plus oil slick, which causes me to spin uncontrollably off the track. So immediately they're off, the three of them. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, this is starting well. But uh, I, I make it up. This is the, this is the one I, I'm most proud of because it's uh, basically what I would call the straightforward approach. It's the downright, you beat them in a race, one at a time, no nonsense. I mean, sure, you're using a bit of oil slick, but it's the one I did the best at, in my opinion, because I really started, like, behind them. Like, hey, how did he catch up with me? I have no idea. But anyway, there, I think, um, Patriot here did, uh, he laid down one of his cinder blocks, which I just ran into there, you see, and completely fucked me up. But I think what he did there was lay one down before that corner, and his pal, uh, the orange dude, ran into it, causing him to, uh, get owned a bit so now uh, basically I got the I got the station wagon and the orange car behind me so they're they're not much of a threat as you see they're, they're far behind me at this stage so it's uh, at this it's basically essentially a one-on-one -on -one duel with Patriot over there so I'm like all right dude just you and me come on get you shot and you know, he's shooting behind me, he's pissing me off. If you notice during the first race, I was down to yellow armor in the front. I did quite much better this time around, I'm only at green, I believe. And there, I don't know what happened, he, he somehow got, instead of behind me, he got in front of me and then decided to charge me. So when that happened, I'm like, alright, I win, it's cool. Only two laps. So for the two laps, I'm just, I'm just chilling. They're f way too far behind me for anything to go wrong. So unless I go off the track at one point, if I stay on the track and race well, as Groove Champion is prone to do, I knew I would be victorious. Right, right there, that first, that corner, man, because it's going up a cliff, or a hill, I should say, rather. So you don't know what's going on, or you don't know, you can't see what's next. So you basically have to know that you have to turn right at that stage, or you're going off the track. And yeah, I actually managed to lap them once, I think. I, I lapped some of them. Could, could be wrong, though. Could be wrong indeed. No, I think I managed to get behind one of them, at least. And then I actually stay behind them. So that when I actually win the race, because I have a lap on each of them, um, I fire my rockets at them. Yeah, station wagon and orange dude. The orange car reminding me of Starsky and Hutch. Oh, you know, Dukes of Hazard, whatever works for you. There, yeah, I managed to avoid the cinder block and the station wagon, which is excellent, and I actually make him spin out with my all slick. That's how it's done, folks. So now I'm getting ready with my fire rockets any minute now. There we go. Well, just a machine gun, apparently. No. Oh, damn. And I open fire. And there, you saw the station wagon actually ran over me. Because there's that little bump there. So he, he basically just, you know, drove over me. I don't know how my car survived that. Just in terms of weight, he should have crushed at least the roof. I should be dead. <laughs> Driver. But, um, yeah. So I get out of it. I, I think, you know, I'll use my rear weapons a bit. So I drive here. I start firing some rockets in the back. I can't see him. And they're firing loads of stuff. Patriot comes roaring in. So I'm like, oh fuck. I spin round. I see, I see that they're using rockets as well. I'm like, oh crap. 
Because in my opinion, Patriots has the fastest car in the game. I could be wrong. It could just be a motor thing. But yeah. Right there, I notice he's cornered. So I just wail on the guy. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Then I notice I still got 30 rockets left. I shoot up a couple more times and then I decide uh, I better not waste the remaining rockets because I still have two cars to destroy. So I decide to finish him off with my handgun, which honestly is the best method you can do in terms of finishing him off. Because it's, it's, it's easy, you know, all you have to do is like shoot him generally in the, in, the, in the driver area. So either through a window or through the windshield and you'll kill him. And I think I snipe him. Like that, yeah, you see, miles away, but I managed to pull it off. At this point, there's still Station Wagon and Patriot. Patriot, he's just, he's the one who's doing most damage to me. In all honesty, I see he's gotten me down to yellow in the front. Then I notice Station Wagon over there smoking. And I think uh, I best finish him off first and leave Patriot for dessert, as it were. Saving the best for last. And then I think, fuck, because I just used all my rockets. And I actually managed to finish the station wagon here. With my real rockets, which I think was an incredibly good shot, if I'm being honest. So now it's like, uh, Patriot, one-on-one, -on -one, me versus him, restarting fraps there. And this is when, the, this is the hopefully the only time you see my front armor go away. He, he destroyed my front armor and my weapons and my my entire car suffered. You'll see it all light up soon enough. But you'll see why. It's like here, yeah, see he's shooting off. My fingers is red, he's taking it off. Full frontal war, we're both firing at each other. And as you see, I took extensive damage. My front armor is gone, it's black, it's destroyed. And... The game crashed again, so I had to replay it, I didn't record it, we went straight to the cutscene. It was all a dream. Inception! Wow, weird dream. <laughs> Mind freak. Hey, nobody steals from Tony Melodio. Those who do generally wake up dead. But I don't need to tell you that now, do I? And as you can see, no fuel savage available because it was a dream. Way to cop out, game. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Where we shall uh, undergo the next mission. Nothing much to say about it. I don't want to spoil it. It is exciting though. Very plot heavy. It's a game changer. I'll put it that way. Anyway, I'll see you then, guys. So until then, till then. Time we settled up, you and me. Don't you think? Meet me at Dick Bernetti's Super Track and Andrews and bring just yourself. Vix? This guy's looking for Jade. Hey, yo, Skeeter. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go take care of some business. Vixen, you got your ears on? Come back. Vixen, you got your ears on? Come back. This is Patriot. Come back. Figures you ain't gonna answer me, Vixen. Word on the street is you're dead. What I can't figure out is then how come you've been driving around? I saw you at the wagon wheel. Not bad work, Vixen. Now, if you ain't dead, then I figured it's about to this mission. Already at the start there, you noticed the glitch. Uh, basically, there was a slight problem with some wobbly wheels there. And I uh, appeared on the right side of the track. I was supposed to be, well, on the right, on the left side, honestly. <laughs> but 
never mind that now. Um, this mission basically it's a two part mission. First part you have to beat these clowns in a race. It's like, uh, as the man said, four laps around the track. And uh, when you win, he basically says, you're not taking my car, and decides to fist. Well, looky here. If it ain't fixing, alive and kicking. It's good you ain't dead, because the way I see this, we got a score to settle, you and me. We see, we need a score to you and me. It's about time we figured out who's best round here. Four laps is only rule. We race for pink slips. Winner takes all. By the way, I asked two friends to come and play. Hope you don't mind. Say hi to Road Knight and Gas Bandit. Hello, Vixen. This is Road Knight. The pleasure is mine. Vixen, I can smell you. Who in the hell are these people? I hope you're ready. Sit, go! <laughs> and greetings gamers, and welcome to Let's Play Interstate 76. This mission, man, 